crazy people on earth and come back. <laughs> and so there he is, right here. This is Christ as he was in heaven with his crown. And then he comes back here as a human being. And then here we are in the corner. And we're saying, what's all this about? And here's Christ up here as a human being. Here's the devil down here saying, I'm going to get you and get kill you. <laughs> now here's Christ again as a teenager working with his, his father as a, as a carpenter. Then he starts his public life. So here he is with the starting of a crown. Then this starts the problems right here. God the Father from on high sends all of the power and all the grace in this great river that keeps flowing through this painting. Over here, the devils are there and they're going to kill God. <laughs> so on Good Friday, they crucified them. There he is. There's the crucifix. It's white because it's the instrument of the Savior of the world. And Christ is gone, but his crown is there. Now the devils think they have won, but Christ comes back here. This is Easter. And he says to the devil, get out of here. This is my garden. Be gone. And he presents his sacred heart to the world. And then these are all the flowers of goodness and grace that now inhabit this world. So this river that we've been seeing now changes. And here it is here. And Christ comes back as Christ the King. He's the victor. 
Over here, this is the great crown that we have been given. This is the protection of God. The window itself makes the crucifix. Then underneath it is the little village. This is where we are. It represents the whole world. So this little village here represents the whole planet. The crucifix on top is protecting all of us. Now Christ reappears at the bottom of the stairway. And he's on his way up to tell his father, I have risen from the dead. I have done everything that you wanted me to do. And I'm coming back. So when we take the scaffolding down, you'll see God the Father up there. You'll see this huge umbrella, which is the umbrella that shades all of us. But Christ is saying, I'm not coming up here alone. I'm bringing all of my friends with me. And I'm going to introduce them to you. That's why we're asking everyone to put their mark on the wall. So then, as you're walking up, here he is over here, again, pointing the way, up that way. It's like when you go to the movie show, where do I sit? Go up there. And up on top is God the Father, and he's gathering us all together. So this whole story is like a huge tornado of peace. And it's circling around us. Here is the former. It's not destroyed, it's built on. 1693 this was built. So it's a safe place. Right here, this is the eye of the storm. This is where we find ourselves safe. Because all of this blessing is shielding us, is helping us. So we come here, we leave our troubles here, we leave our hates here, we leave our insecurities here, we walk out with one thing, love. Love of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit brings us out, change people. That's what this is about. Melding together, 1693, 2008. 200 years from now, people will say, who did this? You say, walk through that door. Their names are on the wall. Everyone that is involved has put a mark on the wall. That's, you can see from generation to generation to generation. What we did is we imprinted our love, our hopes, our aspirations in this communal demonstration. So, it was absolutely a wonderful time for Rose and I to be with you all, to experience this love in this place. We are honored. We are thrilled, and we are changed just by being here. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go to bed.